You've probably heard the term Hall Effect by now, especially as companies move away from drift-prone potentiometers, but there's a new style of joystick making its way into controllers. This is the MobaPad Huben 2 and it uses the newest capacitive joystick tech. In this video, I'm going to break down what makes these two joystick types different, test how they perform in games, and talk about which one might be the future for controllers. Let me know in the comments which kind of joysticks you're most curious about. And if you dig this type of video, consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Alright, let's get into it. Hall Effect joysticks have become the go-to upgrade for most modern premium controllers. Instead of using physical parts that rub together like potentiometers, Hall Effect sticks use a magnet and a sensor to detect movement. The magnet inside the stick moves as you push it, and the Hall sensor measures changes in the magnetic field to figure out its position. Because the parts don't physically touch, there's almost no wear and tear, which means no stick drift, one of the biggest issues with traditional joysticks. Controllers like the FlyDigi Vader 4 Pro use Hall Effect sticks, and you can really feel that smoothness and consistency when you move them around. They're also extremely durable and usually have great circularity, meaning your analog input stays more accurate across the full range of motion. As for the downsides, well, they're typically more expensive to make and sometimes the stick centering isn't perfect. You might need a slightly bigger dead zone to keep the stick resting at a true zero. But overall, Hall Effect sticks are one of the biggest quality of life upgrades you can get in a controller today. Now capacitive joysticks are something completely different, and honestly, they're kind of futuristic. Instead of magnets, these use changes in electrical capacitance to read movement. Think of it like a smartphone touchscreen or a Steam Deck touchpad, but for a joystick. When you move the stick, the overlap between conductive plates changes, which alters the capacitance. That shift is measured and turned into positional data. Controllers like the MobaPad Huben 2 use capacitive sticks, and one of their main advantages is incredible precision. Because they can read very small changes in position, they're capable of super fine input resolution. They're also contactless, so in theory, they should last a long time similar to Hall Effect sticks. However, capacitive sensors can be more sensitive to the environment. Things like humidity, grounding, or even your skin conductivity can slightly influence readings. They also require more complex calibration, which is why we don't see them in many mainstream controllers just yet. With that said, I haven't experienced any interference from my environment while using this controller at all. That may change from season to season, but so far so good. So overall, while capacitive sticks are exciting, they're still kind of experimental in the gaming world. To see how these technologies actually perform, I'll be using the MobaPad Huben 2 for the capacitive example and the FlyDigi Vader 4 Pro for Hall Effect. The Vader 4 Pro has solid circularity with both sticks returning to center nicely and less than 2% drift at 0% inner dead zones. The linearity also looks good with 481 data points and a 510 point resolution. The Huben 2 also has great circularity with the sticks returning to center really well and showing 0% drift. The linearity is where the capacitive sticks really shine though. Compared to the Vader 4 Pro, they have 5,650 data points and a 3,995 point resolution. In simple terms, this means that there's more data being recorded when you move the sticks. In gameplay, those differences show up subtly. When I tested both in the Fragpunk test range, the Vader 4 Pro's Hall sticks felt buttery smooth and predictable. Great for tracking targets and flicking accurately. The MobilePad's capacitive sticks though had a slightly different feel. They're extremely sensitive, picking up to micro adjustments which is awesome for slow precision movements, but they can also feel twitchier if you're not used to them. You may want to adjust your in-game sensitivity when trying capacitive joysticks for the first time. Overall, it really depends on what kind of player you are and what kind of games you play. So are capacitive joysticks better than Hall Effect? Well, they definitely have potential. Hall Effect and TMR sticks are still probably the best all-around options for most gamers right now. They're durable, drift-free, and proven in dozens of controllers. Capacitive sticks, on the other hand, are the next step forward, offering higher precision and new possibilities like touch sensitivity. They just need a little refinement before they become mainstream. If you want a controller that just works and feels great, Hall Effect is still likely the move. But if you like experimenting with cutting-edge tech like me, capacitive joysticks are worth keeping an eye on. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer to game with. And if you found this video helpful, consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Also, feel free to join our community discord if you want to chat more about controllers and other gaming tech. Thanks again to MobaPad for sending me this Huben 2 to test out. They're having a Black Friday sale right now and I've included a link in the description to get a discount. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.